Hello everybody, Robofox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone Tutorial. In this Redstone Tutorial, I'll show you how to make an automatic chicken farm or chicken cooker for 1.16. The other day on the Truly Bedrock server, I ran into a problem with my chicken farm. Right now, you can see there are multiple chickens in this farm, and this is my previous design. Now, I noticed, again, having multiple chickens, when one of the chickens grew up, all of them got cooked, which means all my baby chickens also got burned up. And to simulate this, let's go ahead and just feed one of these. Again, you did see multiple baby chickens in here. And yeah, you can see even the baby chickens got burned up. So that was an issue. I only had one cooked chicken drop down and I had, I don't know, maybe about eight baby chickens in there also. So obviously, this is an issue, but thankfully, I found a solution. With my new automatic chicken cooker design for 1.16, we can actually avoid that issue. And yes, this is still an automatic chicken farm. We don't need to push any buttons or anything like that. It is automatic. I AFK this on the Truly Bedrock server. And again, building it the other day, I now have about a stack of cooked chicken. So you did see when I grew one baby chicken up into an adult, the rest of them got pushed up into the lava, but if we go ahead and do that here, again, we can see multiple baby chickens. Let's go ahead and grow one up. There we go. So you can see the baby chickens still get pushed, but not all of them get burned up. Let's go ahead and do one more. There we go. So again, all of the baby chickens are still there. The one that actually grows up burns. The drops go down below and we are still left with our baby chickens. Here we are on the Truly Bedrock server. Again, I have the chicken farm right here. We have a bunch of baby chickens down below, and while I was editing, I did do some AFKing of this farm, and again, I do have over a stack of chicken, and there we go. The chicken is burning, and again, the baby chickens are left behind, and now we have 64 and 11. To make this automatic chicken farm or chicken cooker for 1.16, you are going to need a 3x6 area. With that, let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. And there we go, there are all the supplies we'll need for this build. Do you notice that the rest of the materials are very minimal, so what we have are two hoppers, one comparator, one observer, one dispenser, one dropper, one redstone dust, and then we have our building blocks, eight slabs, five glass blocks, our bucket of lava, our collection chest, and then if you choose to feed your baby chickens down below, you can add a wall, and then of course you are going to need chickens. With that being said, if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that, grab your supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. To get things started, what we're going to do is place in the collection system, and this part is very easy. What we're going to do right here front and center is place down our chest. Next, go ahead and grab your hopper, swing around to the back side of that chest, and crouch place that hopper right into the back of the chest. So you should see the hopper going in like that. From here, what we want to do is grab a slab, crouch place that slab on top of the hopper like so. Now go ahead and grab a block, place a block right behind the hopper, get your dispenser, come to the front of the build, and place your dispenser facing in this direction. So if we remove the slab, the dispenser is facing forward. Let's go ahead and put that back. And then from here, we can go ahead and build up the rest of the chamber. To do that, what we're going to do is place blocks on the left side of the hopper. So go one, two, three blocks like this, and then one, two, three blocks over on the right side. Now, again, if you do want to feed your baby chickens from down below, what we can do is remove this block here or this one and place down a wall like that. That way we do have access to the inside of the chamber and the baby chickens can't get out. From there, what we're going to do is grab our glass and then crouch place glass above the chest and then one more right there like so. And on top of the dispenser, go ahead and crouch place a block like that. So the chamber should look just like this. And then finally, get your bucket of lava and place your bucket of lava on this block here. So it should be floating like you see here. For the redstone, what we want to do is come around to the back side of the build. Grab your second hopper and crouch place that hopper into the back of the dispenser. Again, you will see the hopper running into the back like this. Now we will get to the chamber where the chickens will be kept later, 
but let's go ahead and finish up the redstone. So from here, let's go ahead and place a block like this. Grab your comparator, run the comparator out from the hopper, and then we want to run that comparator into a block right here. So it should look like this so far. Place a block here, and then a block against the dispenser. And to do that, we do want to crouch place this, or you can place a block here, a block up like that, and knock that one out. Either way is fine. And then let's go ahead and place two temporary blocks like this. Grab your observer, come over to this side, and place your observer facing in this direction. So we have the arrow pointing towards the front, and we should have the face looking this way. From here, we can go ahead and grab our dropper, place a dropper facing up like this. We can remove these two temporary blocks. And finally, grab your redstone and place redstone dust right here. And there we go. That is the redstone all finished. To finish things off, what we're going to do is make the chamber to hold all of our chickens. So what I like to do is let's crouch place a block on top of the hopper. I place glass here, here, and here. Then we can remove this. And the chickens can still get out of this. So what we can do is place slabs down like this. Or you can place a full block if you choose to. But let's go ahead and go with slabs. They will stay inside with a slab. And then to finish things off, we can go ahead and cover this up. And that gives us a nice and clean design. So everything is all done. All you need to do is lead the chickens up. In this case, I'll go ahead and spawn them in just like this. Now on the Truly Bedrock server, and I'm not keeping count right now, but on Truly Bedrock server, I do have about 40 chickens inside of my cooker. And you can see the results that I get from that. Now as chickens begin to lay eggs, let's go ahead and grab a few eggs. They'll start laying their eggs going down below. And you can see the redstone activating. So what's happening is when the eggs come down through the hopper, the comparator is detecting the egg there. That's powering this block, powering this redstone, powering this dropper, which is being picked up or observed by the observer. And that's going to power this block here, powering the dispenser and shooting our eggs out right there. And you can see we already have some baby chickens. And remember, this has to be a dispenser not a dropper or else all the eggs will just pop out and then you'll have a bunch of eggs down in the chest. And again, if you wanna feed the baby chickens down below, you can place in a wall like this. I personally don't have one because again, I do AFK this farm while I'm editing, but this is always a nice feature to have. Again, if we demonstrate this, we'll grow up a baby chicken. So the adult chicken will cook, but all of our baby chickens will remain unharmed. Again, when 1.16 did come out, as you saw, all of the baby chickens got pushed up into the lava with my previous design. So with new updates, we do have to make adjustments. And thankfully, we were able to find an adjustment for this one. So this was the first farm I made at the beginning of the video. And if we take a look down below, you can see we already have 23 cooked chicken and 26 feathers. Again, this build is truly automatic like i said i do afk it you don't have to push any buttons or anything like that the baby chickens grow up as you saw there they'll get cooked and all of their drops will go down below but with that being said everyone this is going to be the end of today's redstone video i really hope you guys enjoyed this has been rope fox and i will see you later